Hi, my name is Ishan Beg, and uh, in this video, I will demonstrate how to create web services in JDeveloper 11G uh, from Java classes, and we will deploy that web service to uh, WebLogic server as well. And uh, the next part of the video will we will use the same web services in another application. So let's uh, create the uh, our Java class and I will go for a new application and I will select generic application template and I will give it a name uh, application name myjdev application and project name my project and the technology scopes these are available technology scopes and but we are interested in web services so we'll select web services and finish next step is to add create a java class or we'll right click new and we'll go to create a java class and i will give it a name let's give it a name java world okay and now I will add this uh, uh, a method called say hello which takes and it will return the string with concatenation of the input parameter so our class is ready now we uh, are going to make this as a web service so for this we have to select the class right click and select create web service this is the available methods of creating web services we are interested in JXWX this is the name of our web services Java world service and this is Java world port which uh, we will use to access our web service and uh, I am worried that I have already this Java world name so let's give it a name for one at the end and rest we can take defaults okay so this web service is created J developer generated this all methods and name and we can test it by right clicking and select test web service and uh, you can see this HTTP listener is already uh, running here and we can go to the This HTTP analyzer is built in in JDeveloper. So this is our input uh, string uh, parameter. You can say big and send request. And you can see the method is returning hello big. And we can see the raw message in the format of XML. You can see the return value is this and the argument was this. So this web service is uh, created and uh, now we are going to deploy this to a web server. So for this uh, I might give it a name of uh, a little simple name to access this web service. So for double click the my project, select deployment. This is my uh, deployment profile, edit and we'll give it a name called java world app one and uh, okay and uh, make sure you start your web logic server uh, i'm using integrated web logic so run and start it and right click this to deploy deploy application server your connection to application server the instance where you are going to deploy and finish.
and we can see here the uh, this deployment is finished we can access it via browser also this web service let's test it and I will give it uh, I gave a name to my application Java World App 1 and I think I gave a name Java World Port 1 yes and uh, this is the uh, address of the vessel document you can see here I will click this and we can see the elements of our vessel document here and this address we can use in another application uh, to utilize so watch the next part how to utilize uh, this web service in another fusion application so bye for now for this video thanks for watching